Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're gonna have a look at how to change the BPM uh, or tempo of a song you're working on or want to fit into your project. Uh, so let's dive straight in. I have a song here in 120 BPM and my projects, uh, the tempo I want to work in is 125. So as we can hear, it doesn't really fit together. So a quick way to um, to make this work is to change our tempo to the song's tempo. So that's 120. And now you can see it lines up perfectly. So this is definitely a song in 120 BPM. Uh, so usually uh, I have to um, bounce the selection. So I select the event and I bounce it like this. Uh, you find this command in right clicking and bounce selection right here. I have a shortcut for it. Uh, after you've done that, uh, the reason why we're doing it is because this will print any tempo information to the audio file. So we select the event we just bounced. We go up here to musical mode. We turn it on. You will see this little waveform on the event. And what happens now is that if I turn the event, turn the tempo to 125, you can see now that the audio event is com perfectly lined up. And let's have a playback. So that's perfectly in, in sync with uh, 125. And by the way, if you want to change tempo, you can click up here on your tempo track, or you can click down here um, to change the tempo. You can just write it in. And a shortcut to change this is Shift T, and then you will see it's automatically selected and you can write in whatever tempo you need. Uh, okay, so now this 120 BPM song is in uh, 125. And I have another song in 130. Uh, right here, uh, and I want to sync it to 125 as well. Um, so we do as we did before, we changed Cubase to 130, which is the song's original tempo. Uh, we can check that this is correct. And as we can see, this lines up perfectly in 130. We bounce selection like this. We put it in musical mode. And now we change the tempo back. We use our handy little shortcut, Shift T. We go back to 125. And let's see if we sync this up. And now we can see the grid is perfectly lining up with the audio. And let's have a listen. Perfect. Just what I imagined. Um, so that's it. That's how you can change the tempo very easily. This goes for songs or tracks or like if you have a performance uh, in one BPM that you want to change to another one. This is a very easy way to, to make things fit together. Okay, I hope that's been useful. If you like this, please hit like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.